What's next? with hue so black. O oh, night, whichever art when day is not. O oh, night, O oh, night, alack, alack, alack. I fear my Thisbe's promise is forgot. And thou, O oh, wall, O oh, sweet, O oh, lovely wall, that standest between her father's ground and mine. Thou wall, Oh, wall, oh, sweet, oh, lovely wall, 
show me thy chink to blink through with mine eye. Oh. <clears throat> Thanks, courteous wall. Jove shield thee well for this. <laughs> but what see I? No, this me do I see. Oh, wicked wall through whom I see no bliss. Curse be thy stones for thus deceiving me. The wall, methinks, being sensible, should curse again. No, in truth, sir, he should not. Deceiving me is this be's cue. She is to enter now, and I respy her through the wall. You will see it shall fall half as I told you. Yonder, she comes. <laughs> I see a voice. Now will I to the chink to spy. And I can hear my Thisbe's face. Thisbe! My love thou art, my love I think. Think what thou wilt, I am thy lover's grace. And like thy man, I am a trusty still. And I like Helen till the fates me kill. Not Shuffleus to Procus was so true. A Shuffleus to Procus, so I to you. Oh, kiss me to the whole of this vile wall! I kiss the wall's hole, not your lips at all! <laughs> Wilt thou at Minnie's tomb meet me straightway? Tight life, tight death, I come without you. <laughs> Thus have I, wall, my part discharged so, and being done, Thus, wall away, doth we go. <laughs> now the mural is down between two neighbors. No remedy, my lord, when walls are so willful to hear without warning. This is the silliest stuff that ever I heard. The best in this kind are its shadows. And the worst and no worse of imagination to mend them. It must be your imagination then, and not theirs. <laughs> if we imagine no worse of them than they of themselves, they may pass for excellent men. Here come two noble beasts, a man and a lion. I think. You, ladies, you, whose gentle hearts do fear the smallest monstrous mouse that creeps upon the floor, may perchance both quake and tremble here, when lying rough in wildest rage doth roar. But know that I, one snug the joiner, am a lion felled, or else no lion's dam. And if I, as lion, come in strife into this place, twere pity on my life. A very noble beast of good conscience. The very best of beast that e'er I heard discourse, my lord. <laughs> the lion is a very fox for his valor. True, and a goose for his discretion. <laughs> Nay, not so. For his valor cannot carry his discretion. <laughs> and the fox carries the goose. <laughs> <laughs> his discretion, I am sure, cannot carry his valor. For the goose carries not the fox. It is well. Leave it to his discretion, and let us listen to the moon. This bed thorn doth the horned moon present? He should have borne the horns on his head. He is no crescent man, and his horns are invisible within the circumference. This lamp thorn doth the horned moon present. Myself, the man in the moon, do seem to be. This is the greatest error of all the rest. The man should be put into the lamp thorn. How else is it the man in the moon? He dares not come near for the candle, for you see it is already in snuff. <laughs> oh, I'm weary of this moon. Would he would change. <laughs> would it appear by the small light of his discretion that he is in the way. <laughs> but yet, in courtesy, in all reason, we must stay the time. Proceed, moon. All that I have to say is that this lanthorn is the moon, myself the man in the moon, this thorn bush my thorn bush, and this dog my dog. By all these... <laughs> Why all these should be in the lantern, for all these are in the moon. But please, here comes Thisbe. <laughs> this is old Ninny's too. Where is my love? Wrong. <laughs> Well, Mouse Lion, 
And, and then came Pyramus. And so the lion vanished. <laughs> Sweet moon, I thank thee for thy sunny beams. I thank thee, moon, for shining now so bright. For by thy gracious, golden, glittering gleams, I trust to take of truest this be sight. But stay, O oh, spite, but mock, poor knight, what dreadful dole is here. Eyes, do you see? How can it be? O oh, dainty duck, O oh, dear! <laughs> Thy mantle good? What? Stained with blood? Approach ye furies fell. O oh, fates come, come, cut thread and from, quail, crush, conclude, and quell. Oh, wherefore, nature, didst thou lie its frame? Since lion vile hath here deflowered, my dear. <laughs> which is, no, no, which was the fairest dame that lived, that loved, that liked, that looked with cheer. Come, tears confound, out. Sword and wound, the pap of Pyramus. I that left pap where the heart doth hop. <laughs> thus die I, thus, thus, thus. Now am I dead. <laughs> now am I fled. My soul is in the sky. Tongue, lose thy light. Moon, take thy flight. <laughs> now die. 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 <laughs> die. <laughs> die. <laughs> no die, but an ace for him. For he is but one. <laughs> Less than an ace, man. He is dead. He is nothing. Well, with the help of a surgeon, he might yet recover. And through with ass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she'll find him by starlight. Here she comes, and her passion ends the play. <laughs> oh, we think she should not use a long one for such a pyramus. I hope she will be brief. She hath spied him already with those sweet <laughs> eyes. And the floor <laughs> in a lich <laughs> Come! 